everyone. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the three types of collages that can be made in the app Pic Collage. To do that, we will first open up the app Pic Collage. And you will see this page appear. Now on this page, you will see three options. Grids, Freestyle and Templates. We are going to talk about all of these today. The first one is Grid. This feature allows you to add grids in your collage. For example, when I click on grids, you will see there are many different varieties here of grids. This will allow you to keep your pictures or text in different grid areas so that you don't mess them up. For example, I want to select this grid. So I will click on it. And you will see I have four grids here. And in these four grids, I can add anything I want. Like in this one, I can add a photo. In this one, I can add text. That way, you can add a lot of stuff in these four grids. There are many options for grids. The next one is freestyle. Freestyle does not involve any grid or any template. All you have to do in freestyle is put a photo wherever you want and you can add text wherever you want. It is absolutely free of space. So when I click on freestyle, it will open up a blank doc document like this. And you can add a photo anywhere. You can add text anywhere. There are no separate sections to do any of these. The last one is templates. Now, when I click on templates, you will see all of these types of options. Templates basically means a rough idea. So here you can see in templates, you can see different topics like Halloween or election. So according to your topics, you can select what template you want and you can edit that template. For example, I want to select, I want to make a template on election. So I will select any one template from this, suppose this one, and I will click on it. So now you see, I can edit this template. For example, if I want to move this picture somewhere, all I have to do is click on the picture and I can move it wherever I want. Suppose here. If I want to add any photo, I will click on the blank space and I will click photo. So this way, you can edit any template you want according to the theme. Now, if you want to find a theme in your templates, all you have to do is click on this categories option on the right side of templates and you will see many categories. For example, Halloween, Christmas, anniversary, wedding, family, greeting cards like that. You can click on any topic you want and it will give you templates related to that topic. 